Hello everyone, this will be update number, uh, supposed to be update 3, might be update 2, I accidentally deleted the update 2, fat, the covering the f control surfaces by accident, so this will probably be update 2. Anyway, uh, past few months I've been doing a lot of fabricing, and now I have attached it, well my dad has attached it, I've been helping out where I can. Um, yeah, so it's looking good. It's starting to look like an airplane. Uh, fabrics, all, pretty much all done. It needs to be shrunk. Can't really, s maybe, yeah. Stuff like that. And you just go over it one more time with the shrink gun, or the heat gun. It'll shrink the fabric. The elevator and rudders, hinges are all done. Or they're not done, but they're all attached. The hinges itself need to be um, we're buying more, and we're going to cut them to the correct length. These are out of, I think, the ailerons. But it's nice being able to actually see the progress. It's, got the, it's not, the control wires are not rigged up yet. But that'll be the next step. We've got supporting cables here, top and bottom. The rudder is obviously done. Quite small shrinking up here that needs to be done. Yeah, that's that angle. Yeah, shrinking there, stuff like that. Now, obviously, my mistakes when I first started learning to fabric, you can see all this nasty yellow is all glue. I made the mistake. Obviously, this is the newest one I did, the vertical stabilizer. You can hardly see any glue overrun. There's a little bit there because I had to take off something, a little bit of tape, and uh, it left some glue. I couldn't get that off, but that looks a lot better than my foot. This is, no, this was the second one I ever did. You can see there's a lot of yellow dried glue, which kind of looks, it looks pretty ugly, and my edges here are pretty ugly as well. Same with along here. I just used too much. I didn't put the tape in the right uh, locations. I had to use a little too, use a little too much. So that's why it looks like that. Um, same with the rudder. The rudder looks a bit better. It still has some glue coming out here. The reason it looks like this, though, is because instead of being smart and putting what I did, what I started to learn to do, I was gluing, putting the glue directly on the fabric and not on the tape. So that, so if it overran, so if I had too much glue out here, by the time it dried, it was too late to do anything. So, obviously this one, what I did was put the glue directly on the tape and not on here on the fabric and then just ironed it on and that made all the difference that one looks amazing top and on the bottom it looks great too so that's that side working on finishing up attaching these and getting getting the correct tension on it now these are folding so this is able when you want to transport it this is supposed to fold up like that Both sides will fold up. I don't want to take the bottom cable off, but that's what it'll look like. The uh, horizontal stabilizer and and the elevator will fold up. And then there's you can put on a uh, attachment to build something to keep it on the upright position, upright and locked position. Um, so that's what that looks like. Other than that, the brakes have been all rigged up here. Brake fluid is in. I think I said that in my last video. This nasty old seat is going to come out. We're going to put it in an aluminum seat. It doesn't really, not really the nicest seat in there. It's pretty chintzy. Um, so that's going to come out and nice durable seat's going to go in at some point. Also, the nose cone is on. This is all completed. Unfortunately, there are a few boots here that don't much like airplanes, I guess. 
but uh, that's on and then flight instruments have to go in at some point that'll be probably one of the last things to be mounted Vado pedals need to be uh, rigged up as well but other than that, that is a quick update of the progress of the Cold Firefly Ultralight. Um, I'll try to update, do another update video as soon as I can. It's been pretty busy with all my other projects as well, so I apologize for not getting videos out sooner. But there she is. And... I guess going back to this before I end this video, as you can tell, this side, it's kind of, that was the first one I did, you can tell, definitely tell that there's a whole bunch of nasty glue showing. Luckily this side looks, on the top it looks pretty nice. I didn't screw it up as much. That, that edge looks a lot nicer. Now I, what I was going to try to say is for this, I'm going to be putting a uh, camo paint scheme on this plane, um, a winter camo, so the white is going to stay and I'll just add some green paint and it'll be able to cover up this mistake, try to make, fit it in so it covers up all these nasty yellow mistakes, but that is the plan for the paint, it'll be a kind of a green and white paint scheme, winter camo. Um, other than that, nothing much else is going on. I'm going to get this bottom cable here attached. It was too short, so I need to put, I'm going to put a turnbuckle on and attach that so it tightens it up. Or so we can get the correct length and then tighten it down. Um, and this is a little extra bit of fabric that needs to be cut off. And I'll put some tape on there. Same with this. It needs to be cut off. Put a little cork in the ends of these so water doesn't get in. But I can do that when I'm doing the shrinking of it so it's not just an open hole. But other than that, that is just the update. Hope you enjoyed this video. And stay tuned for the next update. Hopefully, that'll be soon. It'll be the next. We'll be fabricing the ailerons, and then sometime in the fall will be the wings. Thanks for watching.